Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and I'm back with some new content. I apologize. I was completely MIA for um, quite a few months, as many of you guys know. It's been um, it's been interesting. Life has been interesting lately. <laughs> uh, this is the second time this year that I've done this to you guys, where I just completely ghosted and uh, didn't have much of an explanation. And I really am sorry for that. It's been a very tough year. Um, I explained this when I came back from my last little hiatus that I was going through a very difficult separation after my husband had an affair. And, you know, there's there's some tea there, obviously. But, you know, I thought that I was kind of getting to be on the other side of things and uh, things got out of control again. So, you know, mental health is, is something we need to take very seriously and uh, I was taking some me time and you know it's been six months since all of this happened and it is slowly getting better so um, things are falling into place for me I'm mentally in a very good um, place right now seeing someone new and um, just focusing on myself as much as I can so yeah uh, I don't really know what else to say but I'm back hopefully and I've just been looking for content to sort of spark my um, passion again for The Sims. Not that that went anywhere. I will always love The Sims, but uh, I don't know. I just, I wanted to come back and maybe start something a little bit different. Uh, I'm not going to abandon the other challenges on my channel. I'm going to go back to those. If you guys have been following for a long time, you know that I am the queen of challenges <laughs> and finishing challenges, not just starting them and leaving them. I I may come I may abandon them for a little while, but I always come back and finish them. So that is my plan. Right now I've got a lot going on on my channel, and I think I was also starting to feel a bit overwhelmed like I took on too much. And uh I mean, what better way to remedy that than start a new challenge? <laughs> So that's what we're doing today. Currently, I have the Aspirations Challenge on my channel, which has been ongoing for years now. Uh, that was actually kind of, uh, that's, it's my biggest passion. To me, it's like the number one focus for my channel. Uh, and we are like 30, 30 generations in, maybe? No, not it, it couldn't be 30. <laughs> I don't know. That one is like is long running though, and it's uh, it's been going on for a while. I will never leave that challenge. I will be coming back to that. I'm actually going to film some content for that right away here. Um, the other one is the uh, 100 baby challenge, which I'm starting now. I've I've done this once before, but now I'm doing it again um, years later, and I think I'm maybe like I want to say 20 babies into that. Uh, maybe a little bit less than that. I can't quite remember, but uh, close to around 20 babies in. And that challenge has been going well also, but uh, just haven't really been feeling the passion for it lately. It is quite repetitive, so I kind of wanted a break from that. And then I also have the Decades Challenge. Again, another challenge I've already done before and uh, loved it, loved it. It was so fun. That is an amazing challenge. I highly recommend it. It is so interesting and um, yeah, I, I did complete that one and I've started it again because we have the addition of like cottage living and the horses and a whole bunch of aspects that just make that challenge a lot more realistic. So that one, I'm, I'm not leaving that one either. I will, I will get back to that. Probably won't film it as often, but the main thing I'm taking a break from is the 100 baby challenge for right now. Um, and then posting a little bit less of the decades challenge. My main focus will still be the aspirations challenge. Um, been wanting to get into some building as well. Uh, I don't know. There's obviously I, I've kind of taken on a little bit too much. And that is the struggle right now for me is that I feel like I, I don't want to abandon any of my projects. But at the same time, if I'm not really feeling it, I don't want to feel afraid to try something new. So um, I was just kind of perusing YouTube as I do. Obviously, I consume a lot of Sims content. And I noticed a recent video from Dr. Gluon. If you guys don't know, he's a simmer in the community. He's hilarious. I highly recommend checking out his YouTube channel. Uh, super funny guy. And he invented a new challenge actually called the Rotten Berry Challenge. And um, I started watching a little bit of that and thought like, this is hilarious. I love that he kind of took his own spin on things. Um, so I'm sure most of you are familiar with the 100, or sorry, 100 baby, no, no, no. The uh, Not So Berry Challenge created by a little Simsy. 
and I believe there was a co-creator there. I can't quite remember who it was, but there was there was two people involved in that in creating that challenge. The Not So Berry Challenge is the first challenge I ever posted on my channel. Loved it. Like, I don't know. I, I'm torn between the Not So Berry Challenge and the Decades Challenge as being like the best challenges I've ever done. Uh, Not So Berry is so fun, especially because I love a good theme. And uh, it explores a lot of different themes. The whole point of the Not So Berry Challenge is to explore uh, elements of the game that you don't use every single day. And I think it's 10 generations long, at least the original one was. Uh, and I have done that one twice over on my channel. So that's a really, really fun challenge. Again, I recommend that. I've seen a few spin-offs of that, none that really sparked my interest in trying myself. But this one, the Rottenberry Challenge, it, I was hooked right from the beginning. Um, so I've got the Google Doc open on my computer here to read. Uh, so it said, uh, the rules for this challenge were invented by Dr. Gluon and his Twitch community, written by Glamophonic. This challenge focuses on devious twists on normal gameplay and story-driven exploration of content you might not typically use. It does require a ton of packs, but you can use code Dr. Gluon at checkout to give EA less money. So uh, I have most of the packs at this point. They have added a couple of new ones, or actually a new expansion pack or game pack, the, the dating romance pack. I can't remember what it's called because again, I've been MIA. Uh, I will be getting that at some point, just haven't gotten it yet. Uh, so I don't think that should be too much of an issue using the packs. Um, but as you guys can see, or probably have guessed by now, the first generation is the color green. So here I am just furnishing this home, which I, I've already created the sim, but I wanted to, uh, I wanted to play in Willow Creek because I feel like every time I start a challenge, um, Willow Creek is just... I come back to that neighborhood every time. It's the OG. Felt like a good place to start this challenge. Obviously, other generations can move wherever they want, but first gen is going to be here in Willow Creek in this little home, which I believe was built by Simlessy. I had it saved on my, in my library. I had to use um, a lot that was in my own personal gallery saved already because for whatever reason, the gallery is not working for me. Not sure if anyone else is having this issue, but I can't view anything. Um, within the community, it has to be on my own profile. So things that I've already saved or downloaded before. So that's what this was. And I believe it was for the mint challenge, uh, the mint generation for the not so berry challenge. So it kind of worked because it was already kind of greenish. Um, and for whatever reason, the budget was more than usual. I think it was, how much did this house end up being? at the end. By the time it was fully furnished, it was okay, only 25,000, but then um there's 1,714 simoleons in reserve. So, I'm not sure. I do think you get a little bit more of a budget to work with with each additional pet, and my sim does have two pets. So that could be why. Originally, I had her move into a rental lot in the newest neighborhood, which name I can't remember. Uh, and decided I didn't want to do the rent a lot. I just wanted to start this like um, any of the old school challenges and just have a freestanding house. So that's what I went for. Um, you'll see me struggle with the bathroom a lot here. I was trying to get a cohesive theme and nothing seemed to be working. So uh, I really had to to play around with it for quite a while. But um, yeah, just jumping right into this green theme. This is why I love the Not So Berry Challenge to begin with is because I love... Uh, working with different colors and my sim of course all her outfits are green her name has a green theme her pets names have green themes um, I'm just really really looking forward to this challenge and it's gonna be like a nice fresh start something for me to come back to and start fresh uh, like I said I will be visiting the other challenges hopefully sprinkling sprinkling in some builds um, I've just been really wanting to build lately I used to build on my channel all the time and uh, took a break from it. It is time consuming to build, I will say that. I mean, this alone, just to furnish this home took about 45 minutes. So, I mean, to start a build from scratch can take quite a bit of time. I've been known to spend upwards of four hours on one build. And um, I mean, I don't really have that kind of time anymore. So uh, one of the biggest changes in my life recently is that um, my ex-husband obviously moved out and I kept our home and lately I've been dealing with, you know, getting it, the home transferred into my name and um, that's finally 
in the works. It should be finalized within the next couple of weeks, which is very exciting. I will have owned my home by myself. And um, I mean, one of the reasons that I don't have as much time for um, filming and recording content for my channel is because in order to keep this home by myself, <laughs> I have to work even more than I was before. So that's the other part is that I have been working a lot lately and then when I'm not working, I'm exhausted. So <laughs> hopefully I can find a good balance and uh, you know, get back to posting as regularly as possible on my channel. I'm not making any promises for a set schedule because again, I don't know what my life is gonna look like. Things have been changing so much for me. And uh, it finally feels like I'm about to get into like a bit of a routine. Things are gonna settle for me a little bit and I can start to um, just live my life, you know, put some stuff in the past and just work towards my future, basically. That's, that's what it feels like. The last six months have been very difficult and um, I'm just, I'm so looking forward to moving on with my life. I really, really am. I feel ready for that. Um, and I do want to say that I appreciate your guys' comments and messages so much. You've been reaching out. Uh, just yesterday, someone commented and said, hope you're doing okay. So um, it means a lot to me that you guys notice my absence and that um, you've been checking up on me. It does mean a lot to me. It really does. Um, so yeah, hopefully going to be back for, I, I, again, as regularly as possible. No, no promises. But let me know what you guys think about this challenge. Um, I will link the rules in the description because this might be a good challenge for you guys to try as well. Um, like I said, the first generation is the green gen. Uh, we'll talk more about what that means in that first episode. This one, I mean, I wouldn't really call this the first episode. This is more just me chatting about what's been going on and uh, just kind of hype up the next challenge because I'm really excited for it. And uh, let me know what other kind of content you guys want to see. If you want to see me go back to builds, I would love to just get some feedback on that because again, it's been, it's been on my mind, but it's it might be one of those things that people aren't really into. I haven't been super active in the YouTube community lately, so I'm not even really sure if people still love watching builds. I know I do, but I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. Either way, I'm excited to be back, excited to be getting back into a routine for you guys. Let me know what you think of the green generation. And again, uh, let me know what you think about possibly posting some builds in the future as well. I hope to see you guys watching along with the Rotten Berry Challenge. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys for episode one of the Rotten Berry Challenge. Thanks for watching.